So now we're going to look at adding feature data and holes and slots. We've got two plates and a gasket there. OK, let's add our hole first. Now we need to go to our content tab here and we're going to add a hole. So I'm going to click on the fly out there and I need a countersink hole, that one there. Inserts a tapered hole that contains internal threads. So if I click there, taper internal threads, do I want a taper or do I want parallel? Well, I don't need to do that, actually. What I can do instead, if I close this here, is it will actually automatically insert the hole around the screw connection that I add. So if I go here, screw, and what I want now is actually a screw from my content library. I want a countersink head type, which is there, like so. I then scroll down my list. I want an ISO screw. So they're right down here near the bottom. And I want that one there. I just want a regular thread, that one there, and I want a front view, like so. It says specify insertion points. So if I pick a point here, like so, and then specify a rotation angle down here, like that, what it asks me now is what size do I want. I'm going to go for an M6 and click on Finish. And what will happen now is it actually takes that information from the content library and drops it into my drawing. So I drag the size, now I want it up to there, like so, and there's my screw there. Now I need to show the hole that that screw is actually going through. So I go back to the content tab, and look here now, I've got holes here. So if I click here and just pin this open for a second, what have we got? I need a through slot. So let's have a look at these now. Have I got a through slot anywhere? I've got a blind slot, a countersink, a thread end, an external thread, a counterbore, through slot. There we are. Lots of different types. Don't get confused. So there's my through slot there. Now, what I want is an ISO normal. So if I scroll down the list again, lots here to choose from, so be careful. I just want an ISO normal, that one there. There we are. And again, I want a front view, like that. And it says specify insertion points. So I'm going to go from here down to here like so. Again, M6, like before, same as the screw, and click on Finish. And now it's asking me for a drag size, like so. So I can drag and make that as big as I like. Can you see that there? So I'm just dragging that any which way I want. That's the drag size. So I'm going to drag it to, let's say, there. Or what I can do is hover and then drag like that can do it any which way I like, but I'm just going to drag it. I'm just going to do it freehand for now, but I could actually specify the size there if I want to. Can you see that? Can you see the size there? 19.94. If I drag it this way along the X direction, I'm going to go 18, like that. It fits it exactly for me. I don't need to think about it. So there's my slotted hole through my gasket there. Now what you might want to do there is select that there, and make sure that it's on the right layer. So I'll just go to the Home tab there, and you want that on the hidden layer, which is that one there, AM3. OK. Hit Escape there. You can see it looks much neater now, because it's showing hidden detail through the gasket. Now I need to add the tapped hole. So again, I go back to the Content tab, and I go to Holes again. I'll pin that open again. I need a tapped blind hole. So I've got thread end, countersink, blind slot. Just go through them like that. Can you see there's lots of different ones? Counterbore, external thread. I'm looking all over here. Be aware that it might be that one there. Lots of different types. It's very easy to get them confused. So I click there like so. Which one do I want? I want ISO 262 regular. So let's have a look. There we go. Regular thread, that one there. Front view again, like so. And I want that to go from here down to here, like that. And again, I want M6 to tie in with the counter sunk screw that I've got there. Click on Finish. I want it to come down. So I'll take that down to say there. Let's say it's got a length coming down of 12. And there we are. You can now see that my counter sunk screw goes through my slotted hole there in the gasket, back into a tapped hole here on my other part of my mechanism. Now what I might do there is select both of those and I'm going to go back to the Home tab now because they would actually be in hidden detail. So if I click there like that, hit Escape, 
there we are exactly how it should look that is all in hidden because it's a side view the hole through the gasket in hidden in side view the tapped hole in hidden because it's a side view so that's your feature data with holes and slots using your content libraries available to you in AutoCAD Mechanical 2010.